Hey everybody, just a short video coming up uh, for the Bulletini microphone with the X-Vive U3 wireless transmitter and receiver through a Fender Blues Junior amp. Check it out. Thanks. Hello everybody, Rob Paparozzi. Going to be doing a basement video. I'm going to keep this one short. I'm going to be doing a bunch more, but I got some road gigs coming up, and I wanted to uh, do a quick demo of a new mic that I just got, the Bulletini from BlowsMeAway.com. It's a nice, small, bullet-sized mic. If I held it up to a regular bullet, you'd kind of get an idea the size, almost less than half, right? Now you can get this with, it's high impedance, you can get it with or without a volume control. I prefer it with the volume control for the uses that I, that I have, but here's the, here's the volume pot on the back, really nice feel to it too. And all the way to the left uh, would be off, and then to the right your volume increases. It's a high impedance, so all you need is a screw-on connector, like such, and a quarter inch jack, so your cable's going to look like that. Now today what I was going to do is use it with a wireless system. Um, there's a new one that's out <coughs> um, called the X-Vive that a couple of heart players were asking me about. And I haven't road tested it on a gig yet, but I have a feeling it's going to be fine. They're digital, these new systems, uh, 2.4 gigahertz. And uh, the X-Vive uh, U3, which is this, works on an XLR system. So you can plug it into any XLR low impedance mic that you have, right? The U2 would be like guitar jack end. So if you're just doing high impedance, you might want to look at the U2. Today I'm going to show you how this works. Here's your transmitter. Okay, just normal mic transmitter. Now this one, again, has the XLR end on it. So what you're going to need, um, if you're going to use it with a like a Bulletini mic or a high impedance mic, is a connector. And Greg... A human from blows me away will configure whatever you need. I happen to need a screw on right with an XLR end. Now you want to be careful all the time when you're connecting your cables. Always make sure there's there's nice free loose end here. You don't want your end to be all um, crooked. So you just you just take it and and easily screw it on like this, nice and loose, right? Make sure everything's free and screw it on nice and straight. Don't force it. And when you get it on all the way, just give it an extra eighth of an inch, you know, uh, wrench with your finger right to the right. Not real tight. Don't over tighten these. That's all you need. And it's tight and it's good to go. So be mindful of that. And take your transmitter now. And you could just pop it in and, and you just pop it in and you'll hear it click. So now, now you're on. Um, see that little light? It's in the on position. And on here, when you're dealing with high impedance, you have, uh, you have a power switch, right? and you have a mic line switch. Mic should be up when you're using a low impedance mic, right? You know, like something like this, a low impedance of 58. This happens to be, uh, blows me away, ultimate 58, great microphone. Or 57, right? So these are low impedance, so you have it in the mic position. High impedance like this or your, your other, right, your bullet mics, <clears throat> high impedance, Put it down in the line position. So I have it down set on, not mic, but line. All right, now let's go to the receiver. Here's the receiver. And the receiver, since I'm going low impedance, you're going to need a transformer to go low Z to high Z, right? That's just the connection that I have. So here's what your receiver looks like. Unlike the, uh, the regular units, now, you can get a regular wireless unit. Samsung, I think, stopped making them, but Greg Human over at Blows Me Away is selling the great Sennheiser units. This old AKG I have is kind of outdated, so I don't recommend this, and I went for this, which is, you know, under 200 bucks, not a bad deal. When you're buying a wireless unit, you probably add another 100 to that, at least. <coughs> so there's these X5 systems, 199 bucks. There's your receiver. There's no knob like a volume knob on it basically you're going to control that from your microphone um you just have an on and off here so what i'm going to do is plug in my low to z low z to high z and 
I'm going to plug that XLR in. That's going to go into my amp, and then I'll turn it on. Okay. Now I'm powered up. I'm going through a blues. I don't know. Let me just tilt this down a little bit. See the Blues Junior? It's just a new Blues Junior amp, guitar amp, no tube swap. So I set the master at about half, treble down to about under two, the mids under two, the bass maybe just a little under three. You don't want a lot of uh, a bass, and you don't. It has great bass response on this mic, and you don't want the treble too high because um, you might get some feedback. So starting with those settings, let's see what we got. I'll start with an A harp. I use the uh, Big River with the Blue Moon Combs. That's my favorite harp. And uh, I don't have the volume up very hot here. I don't know how hot I'm going to be able to get it. But I got some nice crunch already. check home. This one I think is a black aluminum. Pretty cool. Big River. So the X5 wireless system, we're going to go road test it. So we'll be back and check back for more videos with this great new Bulletini microphone. This one has the volume control. There's my little adapter to get me to the transmitter. And there's my receiver, that little thing sticking up out of the channel on the end. All right, thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back real soon. Go check out BlowsMeAway.com. For these mics and then uh, you can find these over at like you know Sweetwater or something like that the X5 system you would want the U3 if you're going to use it with low impedance uh, or high impedance and then you can get the adapter or if you're strictly high impedance check out the X5 U2 all right thanks again Rob Paparozzi signing off <laughs>